This is a Tesla Cybertruck. It's huge, it's fast, and it's plenty capable off-road, but is anyone actually taking it out on a trip with the boys? Today, that's exactly what we're gonna find out. We'll be camping and driving all weekend in some pretty desolate areas. And that means minimal charging, no hookups, no water, no help, all weekend long. So are electric trucks a viable alternative to the tried and true overlanders? Well, today we're gonna find out. All right, hit the button. We're all packed up, ready to go. Oops. All, <laughs> all right, Cybertruck. Cybertruck time. Joining me is Joe Weber, one of the hosts on Donuts Podcast, Pass Gas, as well as our newest one, the Big Three. This is our first time driving one of these massive electric trucks and it has plenty of quirks. Right off the bat, we know where your corners are on this thing is really difficult. One of the really most important things corners. about off-roading is knowing your vehicle, right? You need to at least be aware of where your corners are, and in this one, I am not. The newer thing about this is a steer by wire. This is also four wheel steer, so it's very responsive. It feels nice. It does feel like a truck. It does not feel like a truck. <laughs> no? <laughs> not to me. This specific Cybertruck is from Unplugged Performance where they have modified it specifically to go off-road. It's on bead locks, it's on 35s. Yeah, shout out to Unplugged Performance. They really hooked us up this weekend. I can't wait to get out of the city and get some room to actually like test this vehicle. Honestly, this thing's pretty great on the road. I cannot lie about that. It's really quiet. Super quiet. Even these giant tires are super quiet. But we're at 24% right now. Yeah, that's the problem. We are an hour down the road. We just got out of LA and we're already at 24% battery. And that's exactly where we learned that the Cybertruck's battery is complicated. So we're about an hour down the road after charging and we're already at 72% battery. I drastically need to slow down. I was trying to stay around 80. Everything you do in the truck uses more battery. So lights, music, cruise control, even navigation can drop that number. You know, all the things you use on a road trip. You can't even open up the glove box without battery. Exactly. And this is where the real anxiety starts. In LA, there are over 5,000 EV charging stations, but 200 miles north in Inyo County, there's exactly one in the town of Lone Pine and our first stop on this trip. Since we're planning on taking this thing completely off the grid, it's gonna be super important to top off our charge before we hit the dirt with the boys. Uh, we're at 32% after a hour and 45 minute, two hour drive. We only have much longer tomorrow. I know, <laughs> I know. We're hanging out with our friend Zach Deal and the crew from Descent Off-Road who are driving a fleet of sick Toyota Land Cruisers. These guys don't have much to worry about with their gas powered four by fours, which are obviously a proven platform to conquer the mountains. But electric trucks are still uncharted territory. No, it is. Uh, Go ahead, Jeff, right. just get it on. It's you, on! You, you want, so, don't have any more gas powered vehicles. So, you said you're gonna come out to this thing now. So, huh? yeah, you know, we wanted to drive something cool Cool, you know, not our Tacomas. Yeah. And you know, what's the newest, coolest thing you can get right now? Well, I mean, everybody, Cybertruck. Everybody loves old Land Cruisers too. Yeah, they do. Well, I mean, they do. They do but those, but right. we wanted to prove a point. You know, like Zach and the guys are kind enough to hang out while we charge up for a second time. In the meantime, Joe went off to get some camp food, and just like that, we're charged up and ready to go. Just went to go get some extra supplies, and the charging was done before we even knew it. Yeah, it wasn't even a pain in the butt. Our next stop is Alabama Hills, where we'll be setting up base camp. All right, fellas, we've made it to camp. We're here. It only took two charges to get here, and uh, we're at 73% battery already. Yeah. But whatever. There's only one thing we have left to do, and that's set up before the sun goes full down. And Justin, you say this fits all of us? The sun might be setting fast on our campground, but thanks to the power of the Cybertruck, we have nothing to worry about. All right, we're here officially starting our Easter boys trip. We got the lights working. The Tesla has to be on for that to happen. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, it's battery operated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so all these lights might be battery powered, but the Tesla has its own light show built in, and I'm gonna prove to all you guys it's really cool. What's it do? We got burgers and dogs. 
I don't understand. Is it gonna make it out into the desert tomorrow? With Zach again impressed by the Cybertruck, it's time to get some rest and prepare for the next day when our adventure really begins. Hey! Don't forget to up! <laughs> All right, we're up early. We're going on top of the mountain today to go visit the ghost town of Cerro Gordo. This next leg of the trip is our first real challenge. We're going to the ghost town of Cerro Gordo, well off the beaten path. We'll need to head up a treacherous nine mile road, which is regularly washed out. And when we looked at the weather, we found another problem. Surprise, surprise, they got four inches of snow last night. Yeesh. So uh, Cybertruck's out for a real test. The rough terrain and the cold temperatures might drain our battery even faster than we anticipated. So this is gonna be a big test of the Cybertruck. It's gonna get really cold right away. The battery life is gonna go down a lot. We're remaining optimistic about it. That's one of the problems with electric vehicles. Range can be severely affected by colder temperatures, and this trip is not a warm one. But we won't know until we get there, so it's time to take this new truck to a very old town. I love Brent's channel. If you haven't checked it out, we'll drop a link below, and this is just a dream come true for us to go visit him. All right, so we've driven seven miles, and yeah. we've lost. 8%. And this is the biggest issue off-roading with the Cybertruck. When overlanding, you don't just need enough fuel to get where you're going, but you also need enough fuel to get back. There, there has to be some way to drive this a bit more efficiently. In order to regen, you have to slow down. So like here I am slowing down, I'm losing speed, but I am regening very slowly. So it, it is really insane that it's more efficient in stop and go traffic than it would be on a long distance trip. With a regular gas truck, that's no problem. Just carry more fuel and find a gas station. But most rural gas stations don't have fancy Tesla superchargers laying around. And you can't regen a full battery on your own. So this cuts the effective range in half. We'll have to grit our teeth and drive on, but at the very least, we get to enjoy this beautiful view. This is such a crazy landscape. Dude, the fog's looming over top of it. It's beautiful so far. It's so beautiful. Oh man, we're almost there. Oh my God. We can see some buildings. Oh, I see the hotel. Or what, oh it? wow, yeah. It's, wow, holy crap. Cerro Gordo Mines. Brent! Woo, welcome. Finally. Welcome to Cerro Gordo. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Oh, I've been wanting to come here Dude. for so long. <laughs> so nice Very to nice meet you, you guys. Thank you for coming. Brent was kind enough to give us the grand tour of his very own abandoned ghost town. This is the main mineral they're mining here. This is Galena. Wow. Pick it up if you want. You're going to kind of feel the density of it. It's very very heavy. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> if Justin can't pick it up with one hand, I'm screwed. Ah, oh God. I got lead poisoning already. <laughs> uh, I'll give you some hay to feed him though. He'll be very excited. Whoa, that dude. Oh. Hi. Did he get a bite? <laughs> oh, he took the whole thing. All right, we're at the main feature of this place, the actual mine. Let's go in. I just appreciate your little succulent that you have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Really brings the right brings the life to yeah. the place. As much as we really want to go down to the 900 foot level in the main mine shaft, we can't today. It requires a big crew to operate the hoist, and the trip takes 45 minutes each way. But Brent does have a smaller mine that he offered to take us through, and while it does have a death pit, oh god, yeah, yeah, Jesus! <laughs> It also has mini golf. Last, last chance! Let's go. Last chance! Oh. Yeah. 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 We've got a huge day tomorrow with a bunch of stuff going on. What you got planned? Well, I got big plans for us, Justin. So tomorrow we have over 100 miles of off-road. Plus, we're going to go past a desert racetrack, a really cool ranch. And we're going to go out to some hot springs as well. But I mean, from what I heard from you guys today, it doesn't seem like you made it very far, even on 100% charge. We got about like half the range we were expecting today. So I think even off-roading and stuff is just going to make it worse. I'm having major doubts as well, but that's tomorrow's problem. Let's have a good night, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Easter's boy trip. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of drifting? Have you ever heard of Japan? Have you ever heard of hardcore Tokyo? They do drifting in Japan. <laughs> this is June. We've been friends 
forever. And this year we partnered for Tokyo Auto Salon to build this sick Rocket Bunny Nissan pickup truck. And since both of us make clothes, you know we had to do a drop. Available right now for a limited time only, only at donutmedia.com or I assume somewhere in Japan. Day three is the big one. Zach's plan is to take us on a round trip of Death Valley, the 100 mile trip that should be in the Cybertruck's range. But with how it handled the mountain yesterday, we're a little nervous. We're really freaking worried. We're worried, worried. <laughs> that we're not gonna make it because uh, there's a hot spring on the other side of the mountain range. We really wanna put the Cybertruck through his paces, but um, we can't do that if we can't get there. Not knowing our actual range isn't ideal. Neither is all the charging. Uh, pray for us. If we're gonna make it, we'll need to stretch this battery as far as we can, which included toggling a bunch of its features off. We're gonna try and find the most economic mode possible. I think this is the most economy thing we can do. And we're gonna make Zach and the boys slow down for us. Zach, uh, convoy leader, I'm gonna need you to slow down to about 65 at the max so that I can conserve energy, please. Are you saying you can't keep up with a 30-year-old Toyota? I'm just saying I need some parameters set so that I can conserve energy. And just an hour down the road, we hit another problem. Yeah, so well, we just pulled into our last gas station that we have for quite a while and all the pumps are out of service. Honestly, swear to God, our camera car is running out of gas and none of the gas pumps work. However, after we pulled off to the gas station, we noticed the Cybertruck actually gained back some charge. We're in the green on our range. We're yeah. actually, we actually have more mileage than estimated right now. And um, the gas guzzlers, need gas. We started with 317 in Lone Pine. Yeah. After 80 miles, hour and 45 minutes of driving, we're at 244. So now it's looking like we might actually be able to do this. Camera truck's gonna have to go back and get fuel. The rest of us just gonna hang out and wait till they get back. Easter's Easter, boys trip. Easter's boys trip. One, two, three. Easter's For Jesus. <laughs> Thanks to our new tactics, the mileage is stable until the moment we got back off road. So far, it's about 10 miles off in, yeah. in the uh, bad direction. <laughs> we put the display on dark mode. We turn all the lights off. We're really trying to hyper mile this thing. I'm not even using cruise control. We're trying, to, we're trying to make this last as much as possible, give it every chance it's got. The reality is the Cybertruck has gotten some press lately for the range not quite being as advertised. Some owners have complained that the promised 300 plus mile range is actually more like 200. We got overly confident about our range and now we're at about 48 percent or something we're going off road right now let's just try to be positive if and you know like just give it a fair shot at off-roading and see how it does but then the unexpected happened a road closure The road we were planning on taking through Death Valley experienced a landslide and it's completely washed out now. The only way to get to our destination now is to take an extended route and we just don't have enough range for it. Hey Zach, uh, just go ahead and stop, go ahead and stop. I don't think we're gonna make it. How much further we got? Uh, we got a little ways. Why, you guys running out of battery or something? We're under 50%. If it's really cold, and windy in this location, we might have to backtrack. I think it's gonna be really cold and windy. No matter what. <laughs> no matter where we go. Yeah. So unfortunately, we can't complete the journey and we'll have to call it earlier than we wanted. Easter's Boys Weekend on three. One, two, three. Easter's, Easter's Boys, Boys weekend. weekend. So that leaves one thing left to do. Is this mostly like this for a while? It's like this for a while. Okay, I'll put it in Baja mode. All right, we're gonna risk running out of battery. We're gonna do it in Baja mode. Max height, let's go. Oh God! Okay. So could we have pushed the Cybertruck further? Maybe. 
But the reality is, is our route was just too ambitious and the infrastructure to support a serious off-road trip in a modified EV isn't quite there yet. The problem with EVs, if you're gonna put a bunch of miles on them, you have to plan really well. And when you're starting to go out into desolate areas like Death Valley, you really can't handle any hiccups to this plan. If we drain this battery, that's it. The more you use the vehicle, the less efficient the battery is. As soon as one thing happened, we were screwed. But did we have fun? Honestly, we did. Camping trips aren't about how expensive your truck is or how many LEDs you've put on it, or if it has a Baja mode. It's about driving out to the unknown, exploring mines, and making memories with the boys. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, but that's the whole thing. Yeah. We had fun, right? Even yeah. though we didn't make it, we had fun. So hey, the future is not now. The future is in like eight years. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Easter, 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 Easter,